Hey guys, in this video we're talking about optimum tire protection and coating, show you guys how to put it on, how it works, what the drawbacks and advantages are, and why it is the product of the week. Real fast before we get into the content, this is a new thing I'm trying out as far as a product of the week, so hook up in the comments below. Let me know, would you guys like to see a weekly video just like this where I highlight one product that I'm using on a regular basis, show you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and show you real life applications applications of the product comment below and say yes or no if you like this kind of product of the week style video now let's go ahead and get into the content all right, some simple directions real fast. Always wear gloves before you use this product. You need to clean it and rinse the tire with Optimum Power Clean. That's very important. You always want to apply this product to a dry surface. When it is applied, it's going to have a blue tint to it as you're going to see, and it's going to dry more matte. Not completely a matte finish, but it's not going to keep that blue appearance. And if you want to apply a second coat, you need to wait for the first coat to dry for about 30 to 60 minutes and give it about four hours before you get it wet. You you can see how much I'm using on my rag here before I do anything else. It's not very much. Light repeated applications are going to be best with this product. So here's a couple things. Once again, this is a deep dive into one particular product, so I'm going to really start to split the hairs with this short video dissecting optimum tire protection and coating. You guys are going to get to see how I apply it, but as you guys are watching how it is applied, I want to explain a few things. Like I said and like you can see, it has that blue tint to it. This is not a coating that is applied quickly. This is a coating that you are going to have to commit your time to applying, okay? You cannot spray it on like an aerosol can, and you cannot just wipe it on quickly with a sponge because this coating is going to kind of invade every part of the tire, and every tire these days, particularly on these higher-end cars, if you consider Audi higher-end, they have all of these endless grooves and textures. So you can see, I am going to go around the entire tire and work it in one groove after the other. It wouldn't even be a terrible idea to have a detail brush with you handy just to move some of it around as you're, you're using your microfiber to kind of wipe up the excess and spread it. When I first apply this coating, I'm going to try to apply it in kind of uh, quarter marks. What I mean is like one area here, one area here, one area here, one area here um, in four different almost, if you can picture uh, the tire having four corners, you kind of evenly spread it in four different places. Then I start to go around the entire tire with my microfiber towel and I start to work it in. Now, this particular coating needs to be applied after you use Optimum Power Clean. I would not use any other degreaser before you apply this coating. Optimum products tend to work better or tend to work best when they're applied with other Optimum products. Now, that being said, you're going to see I'm going to go back for some light repeated applications. So while the directions say if you want to apply a second coat, wait 30 to 60 minutes, that is true. But I will say, you probably are going to have to go back in for a little bit more product in the first application and start to apply it around the tire like you did when you first touched it. So you see I'm getting that inner part of the tire and really kind of shoving my microfiber into that area, but it is really important not to oversaturate the tire with this product. It does not work best when you're saturating the tire. This is a classic situation of less is more. Now I will say I only am going to pull out this product when I'm dealing with tires or cars that are these nicer cars. Like I'm never going to put this on a jacked up truck tire that's heavily treaded. I'm not going to put this on a Honda Civic. I'm not going to detail a Toyota Camry and spend the time to put this tire protection onto the surface. It just isn't what my customers are looking for. And again, you guys are seeing kind of the time consuming process that this is. Now. One note that I want to be abundantly clear about is the cleaning of the tire beforehand. Your tires need to be cleaner than they've ever been when you use this coating. If you don't, you might notice a browning that starts to happen that almost resembles that uh, anti-ozonant that is put in the tires to kind of keep them from cracking and uh, decaying quicker. You might notice splotchiness. Even on the directions, it'll tell you if you notice some splotchiness, you want to clean the tire again, rinse everything off thoroughly, make sure everything 
things dry, I definitely suggest using compressed air or a leaf blower when you're dealing with this to dry the tire and apply it again. I promise you. Just like with a ceramic coating, preparation is everything, and if you do that correctly, your life becomes way easier. That's going to be the situation here as well. You want to make sure that that tire is incredibly clean. Another reason why I'm only going to be using this product on these higher-end cars is because the tires tend to be less damaged and the car's better taken care of, and so this product really shines in that way. I wouldn't use it on a tire that's decaying, and I wouldn't use it on a tire that's, quite frankly, not in really, really, really good condition. You guys can see that blue tint right here, but because these tires are cleaned so well, you're going to get to see the after result. It really, really looks good. Now, this is a long-lasting tire coating. It is water-based, so if you do have to strip it back off, it's not going to be a big deal. So again, it's water-based, but this is designed to be durable, have a very, very long uh, lifespan, shelf life. Not, not shelf life, but shelf life on your tire. It's supposed to last a long time. So this is a classic tire protection that I would, say, couple with a ceramic coating if I was ceramic coating this Audi. I actually did put a ceramic coating on this Audi about two years ago, hence why I'm using this particular tire coating long lasting, very durable. Can't give you an exact amount of time that you should be expecting, but I will say lasts a very long time. It's obviously going to depend on how the car is maintained, where it's driven, what state you're in geographically. So there's so many different variables that I think it'd be unwise for me to try to make something up. However, very, very, very good product to couple with a ceramic coating. Now, I want you guys to be able to look at the after result. This is after only one coating, and I'm not putting a second coating on it. I'm going to give you guys a lot of different angles so you can kind of see there's nothing hidden here. You can see that from different angles, of course, the camera's going to flatter certain things in different ways, but this isn't an overly shiny dressing. You're not going to see any splotching or streaking with this. You're just going to see kind of that even uh, appearance, and it's going to get even more uh, even as I let it dry a little longer. I, I kind of jumped the gun because I wanted to get the video done, but I will say that you're going to be able to see uh, maybe some of those scratches or damage to the tire itself. That's not streaking from the coating or anything like that, but it gives that deep black matte appearance without giving me any sling, any overly shiny dressings that are going to get on the paint or just look, quite frankly, <laughs> cheesy and just... Uh, annoying almost, and this is just kind of that professional grade, uh, what, what would I say, appearance that I'm looking for. All right, guys, that's it. There's the Optimum Tire Coating and Protection. If you want to check out this product, check out the description box below the video. There will be a link to this product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't yet subscribed to the Wilson Auto Detailing channel, then definitely hit the red subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos that I put out. Thank you guys for being involved. And as always, from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard, and I'll see you guys in the next video.